Molly Wood and welcome to the Buzz Report. This week, TV on your computer, more dangerous cell phone news and prostitution rings. But first, it's the Gadget of the Week. The Gadget of the Week is the Axiotron Mod Book. Now, this has been the talk of the town lately. Axiotron took this standard MacBook and they reworked it into a tablet. Even bigger news, Apple is not planning to sue them. They're totally allowing this. The Mod Book costs about $1,000 more than a regular MacBook and it's a big old heavy tablet Mac that you can you pay a lot more for if you're one of the 137 people or so who really need this. But you know what? In the land of gadgets, sometimes there doesn't have to be a reason. There only has to be a will and the engineering skill to make that will a reality. And I gotta respect that. And now for the news. We're actually starting off this week with what's clogging the tubes. It's Hulu.com. Hulu came out of beta this week and office productivity around the world ground to a halt. Hulu is the online video site launched by NBC Universal and News Corp and it features new and old shows from NBC and Fox. You've got 30 Rock, you've got Heroes, The Office, Battlestar Galactica. They've also got new deals to deliver movies. Here they are from Lionsgate, MGM, Warner Brothers. Now a lot of people are worried that Hulu's not going to make any money because no one's going to go there or like you can't download stuff to your iPod. <gasps> Family Guy! Hey, can we shoot the rest of this later? There's good stuff on here. I could... Take it back to work. Uh, fine. Stupid work. Anyway. A new study finds that simply listening to a cell phone, even with a hands-free headset, presents a dangerous distraction to drivers. Researchers say they want to raise awareness of the problems of using cell phones while driving, but they're not asking for a ban or anything like that. The researchers did say that it is not known whether talking to a passenger or listening to the radio while driving has an equally detrimental effect. I'm sorry, what? It is not known? So we've done dozens of studies on the effects of using cell phones while driving and none on the possible dangers of passengers, talk radio, navigation systems, eyeliner, paperback novels, cigarettes, children. The fail point in this equation is pretty easy to spot, and it's actually got nothing to do with cell phones. You know what I'm saying? This week, as you know, New York Governor Elliot Spitzer, champion of the little people, was busted for frequenting a prostitution ring. My colleague over at ZDNet, Larry Dignan, wrote an interesting piece about how sophisticated IT networks helped bring Spitzer down. Basically, it goes like this. The prostitution ring was already under investigation due to some shady financial business. On top of that, federal officials had been monitoring suspicious money transfers made by Spitzer, which eventually led them to a company called QAT, which was the alias for the prostitution ring. Since they were both under investigation, everything fell into place. See, Spitzer's transactions looked like they were kept below $10,000 to avoid federal reporting rules, but that can actually help tip off the FBI if you have multiple transactions that are just under $10,000. Basically, when banks record any of these transactions, they end up in a giant, super powerful federal database that crunches the numbers and looks for irregularities. See, and this is what sucks about being a technology reporter covering a big sex scandal. Wolf Blitzer gets to talk about hookers and services, and all I get to talk about is databases. I'm Molly Wood, and this has been the Buzz Report. Thanks for watching.